yung record. Okay, again, I was able to forward a module about the introduction of um, the anti-differentiation. And I hope you were able to at least um, solve some of the problems in the module. So when you see anti-differentiation, when you say anti-differentiation, it's actually the process of finding the anti-derivative of a given function. Um, if you observe with the um, module one that I've uh, provided to you, the anti-differentiation is the opposite no ating derivative. Okay, given the derivative, um, what's the anti-differentiation um, to that given um, function? So, we'll be dealing some of the basic theorem related to um, anti-differentiation. Uh, we will be illustrating here the commonly used theorem that you are going to use the on sa physics nyo na lesson pagdating ng grade 12 sa um, kung saan prerequisite yung pre uh, basic calculus. So the first one, we have the theorem of, um, by the way, yung, yung symbol na ito, Ito pong symbol na to, it's called the integram. Okay? So, if f is the antiderivative of f, then we will say that the antiderivative of f of x is equal to f of x plus c. Okay? So, let's start with the first theorem. Ayun na nagsipasukan to mga ko. We have the... Um, the antiderivative of d of x or dx is equal to x plus c. So an example to that we have 100 d of x that will be equal to uh, 100 x plus c. c pertains to the constant term. We also have here the antiderivative of 3 over 5. Three over five dx that will be equal to three over five x plus c. Okay. Again, the c there is the constant. It's the constant um, term. The second theorem that we will be needing here is that if n is any real number and n must not be equal to one, then the anti-differentiation of x raised to the power of n, or the integral of x raised to the power of n, d of x, is equal to x raised to the power of x, uh, n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Observe that the exponent there is n, and then we added 1. Whatever things in the exponent, we are going to rewrite it in the denominator. So in, in getting for the derivative, we'll be subtracting um, one for the exponent, but here we will be adding to get the antiderivative. So, um, an example to that, we have the integral of x to the fifth power d of x, that could be x, the exponent there is 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1, do not forget the c, so yun. So, the um, integral will be x to the 6th power over 6 plus c. Okay. Another example, using that we have the integral of x raised to the power of negative 3, d of x, that will be x negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1, and do not forget the plus c. So this will be x 
negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. But since a negative exponent will give us um, an irrational value, um, this could further be simplified as um, negative 1 over, this is 2x squared plus c. Just get the reciprocal of x raised to the power of negative 2. Okay. Now, the third theorem that we will be needing here will, that will be if A is any constant and F is a function, then the integral of A, um, F of x, dx is equal to A, F of x, dx. Remember that A there is a constant number, and then we will able to extract A outside integrand, integrand sign. Okay? So let's have the example um, number five. The integral of 6 square root of x, d of x. We can simplify this as 6, that's the constant, or the a square root of x, dx. But the square root of x can be expressed in exponential as 6x raised to the power of 1 half dx. Okay, then applying the previous theorem, we could have 6 multiplied by x, 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1, and then plus c. So this will be 6x, 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2, over 3 over 2 plus c. Then simplifying this, we have um, 6x raised to the power of 3 over 2, Divided, pwede pa i-diretso ko na? Okay lang. Yung 3 over 2, pag sinimplify natin yan, uh, multiply mo yung, para ka nag-divide, kunyari. Pag-simod ka ka. Working solution here. Diba this is 6x, 3 over 2, uh, divided by 3 over 2. This will be 6x raised to the power of 3 over 2 times 2 third. Kaya ang lalabas niyan will be 6 times 2, 12 siya, x3 over 2 over 3. So this will be 12 x raised to the power 2 over 3 plus c, which can further be simplified as 4x raised to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Because 12 divided by 3 there is 4. Okay? Wala na ako ibang maiisulat pa. No? Nagdagan natin ang isa pa. Ay, bakit mag-en kamote? Ala. Hindi ko tumais sa share agad, mama. Sige, ulitin natin. Yung pangalawang example na isulat ko, ha? Doon ko na lang sa second na klase isa-save yung solution ko. So we have there one third. Uh, this is x to the power of three derivative of x. So the constant there is one third. So that's one third. The integral of x cubed d of x. And then applying the previous theorem, this could be one third multiplied by x three plus one over three plus one plus c which is equal to one-third, this is x to the power of 4 over 4 plus c, or this could be x to the fourth over 12 plus c. This is now the antiderivative of the given function. Question so far? Na. Pero kung nabasa niyo yung... Um, yung module na, na, na pinasa ko kahapon, kahit pa paano, hindi na kayo nagugulat bakit tayo nagpa-plus 1. I decided to submit it, uh, I mean to forward it para hindi ko na siya ituro kasi napakadali lang naman yung introduction. Sayang yung, yung araw. Okay? So, let's have the next theorem. If f and g are functions defined on the same interval, then the integral of f of x plus minus g of x um, the derivative or dx is equal to f of x dx plus minus g of x dx. So example to that, let us have 
um, this is 12x squared plus 4x derivative of dx. So the constant there are 12 and 4. So this will be 12x squared dx plus 4 um, x dx. So that will be equal to uh, two, hello? 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. And this one is 4. The exponent of x there is 1. So it's x. 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Do not forget plus c. No matter how your percentage your solution very well, if you don't put c, then you will not be getting any credit for your answer. So this will be 12 x cubed over 3 plus 4 x squared over 2 plus c, which can be further simplified as 12 divided by 3, that's 4 x cubed plus 2 x squared plus c. Now you can check whether um, this is actually the anti-differentiation of the given function. You get the derivative of this, ang lalabas neto ay ito. When that happens, then your anti-differentiation is correct. Okay? Now, let's have the, the, subtraction, um, the subtraction example. So, I have here an example of uh, a subtraction such as the integral of t, 3t minus 6, the derivative of t, okay, which is equal to um, you distribute t outside the 3t minus 6. That will give you 3t squared minus 60, and then the derivative of t. The constant term there is 3 and 6, which will give us 3, the integral of t squared minus, ah, sorry, nakalimutan ko yung dt. dt minus 6, the integral of t, derivative of t. So this will be 3 uh, t, 2 plus 1, over 2 plus 1 minus 6 p 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So this will be 3 t cubed over 3 minus 6 t squared over 2, which will give you um, t cubed. Lagi ko nakakalimutan si C. <laughs> Tinan mo ako rin sabi na magkakalimutan. Minus 3 t squared plus c. When you are going to get the derivative of this, ito yun siya. Okay? Let's have some practice exercises. Ay, wala pa pala. Meron pa pala ako. <laughs> Sinali ko pala dito yung um, ano pa nito? The theorems of the trigonometric function. So we have there the antiderivative of the trigonometric functions. The integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. The integral of cosine x, that's um, sine x plus c. The integral of second squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. The integral of cosecant squared x dx is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. The integral of second x tangent x uh, dx is equal to second x plus c, and the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx is negative cosecant x plus c. And do not forget the derivative of trigonometric function because we are going to use that. So, wala pala akong example dito na, na ah, sige, sa dulo yata, sa dulo ko yata nilagay yung example ng uh, trigonometric function. Sa dulo natin ito, uh, gamitin yung mga theorem na ito. So let's have the practice para lang ma-recall ma natin yung property o yung theorem na ginamit natin. So number one, we have the integral of x squared dx. This will give us um, x squared plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c, where that will be x cubed over 3 plus c. Okay? Number two, this will give us 
um, the integral of x negative 2 dx. So that will be x raised to the power of negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1. Kaya ito ay game. Hello. It's a choppy back on. x to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. Hindi natin kailangan yung negative na exponent. So you have to get the reciprocal as 1 over um, negative 2 x plus Again, number 4 and then practice tayo ng remaining problem. This will be x 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c. Kaya x to the 4th over 4th plus c. This one will be um, x one third plus one over one third plus one. This is plus c. One third plus one is two third. So that's two third over two third plus c. But final answer ngayon that is three x to the power of two third over two plus c. Question before we continue. Ay may tanong sorry. Sir, may pagkakaibo po ba yan sa integration? Uh, yung integration, yung baliktad niya, anti-derivative. Ito yung differentiation. Kapag kinuha mo yung derivative nito, kapag sinold mo yung derivative niyan, ang ginagawa mo ay integration. Pero pag ito ang sinold mo, papunta dito, ang ginagawa mo ay um, anti-derivative. Yung pagkakaiba niya po. Integration, kinukuha mo yung derivative, yung kabila naman, kinukuha mo yung anti-derivative. Yung baliktad. Sige. I'll give you three minutes, kasi madali lang naman to eh, to solve number five. And then type your final answer, please. The, the question there is, evaluate the following, ha? ko nilagay kasi continuous naman yung aking direction. There you go. If you want me to change the slide, just tell me. Change ko yung slide ha para meron kayong pagpapagtitingnan. Meron na. Can you type your answer?
Wala pa. Ah, okay. Pero nasa bon. 3x squared plus 10x. Nasaan yung over 2 niyan, bon? Sa buo talaga. Sa buong 3x squared plus 10x. Plus plus x. A plus C. Okay. So 3x squared. Um, patama ako ha. Ang sagot mo ay... 3x squared plus 10x all over 2 plus C. Correct? Ah, okay. What about the others? Nahirapan ba? Ang sagot ko, then ray ko pa siya, pero okay lang naman. Come on. Carl, Christian, George, Jonas, Joshua, Ken Luis, Ian Morales, Kyle, Lord, Marjorie, Mark Adrian, Mark Gabriel, Mark Luis, Mark Angelo, Nico. Madali pala kasi ito eh. Rainier, Romel, Sherwin, Ariel, Cedric. Tell me kung saan nahihirapan, kung anong hindi pa alam ang gagawin sa susunod. Ah, nasunod pala. Ay, sa so lagyan si, lalagyan mo siya ng X. Alam mo, yung 5, tutuntungan mo lagyan ng X. Sige, baka nalilito, no? Kasi baka parang haba lang inantay ko. Madali lang naman siya. So, we have here, um, the constant there is 3. So, we have 3. And then x. 3x squared. Okay. From Ariel. Um, derivative of x plus, we have there, 5. Derivative there of x. So, this will be 3. And then x, the exponent of x is 1, 1 understood, over uh, 1 plus 1, this is plus 5. The derivative of x here will be x malasya. Plus c, this will be x, 3, sorry, 3x three raised to the second power over 2 plus 5x plus c. Kaya kung isisimplify mo itong sagot mo, Bon, the same lang din siya. Okay, patama pa rin. <laughs> x dx. Pwede kasi lagyan mo ito ng x. Di, um, pwede mo itong gawing, pwede mo ito ilalagyan, hindi magulo ang solution. Yung 5, that's 5, x plus c, kasi yan siya dapat. X, ano, x plus x plus dx plus c pa pala. Ano, Naka-plus c na siya, kaya ito 5x na na lang siya. Yan. Sige, isa pa, baka nalito ang karamihan kay medyo tahimik. Let's have number 6. Pwede mo na idiretso, huwag mo na ilabas yung constant. Kung medyo nahahabaan kayo ng sagot. Idiretso ko yun mamaya. Integral of 5x to the 4th minus 8x cubed plus 9x squared minus 2x plus 7dx.
from me who is Gera, we have x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 7x. You forgot something, Miko. <laughs> plus c. <laughs> Ay, si Bon pala yun. x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed uh, plus 7x plus c. Same with Miko is Gera. Here is a plus 3x. What is it? X to the fifth. I'm plus 3x at the low before C born. From area x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x. Okay, the same. What about it has? Okay. Let us answer. So, hindi ko na siya i-diretso ko na, no? Mark Luis. So, this will be 5x, 4 plus 1, over 4 plus 1. Diretso ko na nga. Minus 8x, 3 plus 1, over 3 plus 1, plus 9x squared, 2 plus, uh, 9x raised to 2 plus 1, over 2 plus 1, minus 2. 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 7x plus c. So this will be 5x to the 5th power over 5 minus 8x to the 4th power over 4 plus 9x cubed over 3 minus 2x to the 2nd power over 2 plus 7x plus c which can be further simplified as x to the fifth power minus 8 divided by 4 is 2, x to the fourth power, 9 divided by 3 is 3x cubed, 2 divided by 2 is 1 um, squared plus 7x here plus c. I think majority got it correctly. Para umikot na umikot yung sagot mo very good. I think majority got it correctly. Pwede pa siyang i-diretso. Pero inumpisan ko lang siya dito at urem para nang sa ganun. Um, step by step kasi alam niyo na ang lesson natin ang basic calculus. Let's have number 7. So may kaparasa ko example niyan kanina yung subtraction na kung saan dinistribute to dito bago siya nag-perform na anti-differentiation. Here go. Nababasa ko yung mga sagot nyo sa LMS. Ang kahinaan nyo ay kapag ang exponent ay fraction or and ang exponent ay negative.
bakit pass na? <laughs> Sana hirapan. They will wait. Baka may mag-submit ng sagot. May 2 minutes pa. Hindi ko po alam gagawin sa negative 1. Negative 1 na exponent? Hindi ba ba mo lang? Kung yan ay x to the power of negative 1, hindi magiging 1 over x yan. Three, 2x to the fifth uh, what's this? over ah okay 2x raised to the power of 5 over 2 over 5 plus 2 um, x to the power of 1 half plus c Okay, it's 455. So let us answer. Yung mga dumikit doon sa part ng solution, uh, you double check kung saan kayo um, dumikit at hindi na nakausap. So we have the integral here of x to the power of 1 half raised to the power of x plus this could be x raised to the power of negative 1 dx. Okay, then distributive property, you could have, this is understood 1, so this is x. 1 half plus 1 plus x, 1 half plus negative 1 dx. So we have now x, 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 1 half plus negative 1, it's negative 1 half dx. So this will be x, 3 over 2 plus 1 over 3 over 2 plus 1 plus x, negative 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. So this is um, x, 3 over 2 plus 1, that is 5 over 2. Over 5 over 2 plus, this is x, negative um, 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half over, it should be negative. Negative 1 half. 1 half plus c. Then this would be equal to 2x 5 over 2 over 5 plus um, 2 yung denominator sa, de sa denominator yung iakyat ko. 2x raised to the power of 1 half plus I think nakuha ni Cedric. 2x to the fifth over 2, over 5, plus 2x, 1 half. Yeah, that's correct. Nakuha ni Cedric yung sabi. So saan nga kayo dumikit? Hindi naman kayo nagsasalita. Puro kayo, ah, sana hirapa. Negative 1, nadikit. Saan? Yung negative 1 plus 1, Well, anyway, let's try ang number 7 kasi divide naman siya. I-divide niyo muna yung t squared over t for 4 over 3, ha? So, 5 minutes is 457. We'll check at 5. Alam, 420 ba? 502.
Oh, si Shal, may tutor. Akala ko ikaw yung tinututor. Ikaw pala ang nagtututor. Maganda yan. Marami akong mga estudyante, lahat ng mga tutorial, na hindi ko na kayang tanggapin. Binibigay ko dun sa mga estudyante ko sa grade 12. Kasi ngayon, yung kanilang source of income, um, yung, kasi part-timer, lalo naman ako sa Arellano, ano. Ako talaga ay full-timer ng Rizal High School. Pabalik ko sa dito. Ako talaga ay full-timer lang ng... Uh, full-timer ako ng Rizal High, part-timer ng Adriano. So yung graduate namin last year, senior high school na best, best students, yung padang tumata yung valedictorian, nasa UP Diliman siya ngayon. BS Mathematics ang pinukuha. So yun yung... Dahil financially unstable sila, mga tutorial ko, binibigay ko sa kanya. And his earning around 2,000 per week. Mababa pa yun, Matthew. Uh, meron akong may mga tutorial na nagbabayad as high as 1,200 per hour. But dahil wala pang qualification yung studyante ko, although magaling siya, hindi siya makapag-demand ng ganun. So, so far, ang kanyang uh, per hour ay nasa 250 na lang. Ano yung nag-send? One minute, it's 5.02. Ay, 5.02. Wala nakatapos. Pinamihan ko pa naman yung activity nito. So, five minutes, try natin, sagutan. Ang constant dyan ay yung type. Ilabas natin muna yung type para hindi magkagulo yan. So, this will be P squared over P four third plus seven over T four third. Limutan ko yung DT, DT. Pinistribute ko lang yung T over a T raised to the power of four third sa denominator. Huwag kayong malito ha. Kasi wala pa tayong ginagawa dyan talaga. Distribute lang natin yung t raised to the power of 4 third sa denominator. This will be 5. Um, diba when you divide two algebraic expression with the same base, you are going to subtract the exponent. So this will be t, um, 2 minus 4 third. This will be plus 7. Labas natin yan. Uh, magiging t raised to the power of negative 4 third to. Working solution. Diba meron tayong 5 t 2 minus 4 third plus 7 dapat yan maging 1 over t 4 third. T t t t. Kasi 7 times 1, 7 pa rin naman. So this will be 5 t um, 2 minus 4 third. Anong sagot? 2, two minus 4 third. 2 third. 2 third, no? <laughs> Nag-calculator pa ako. <laughs> dt plus 7 t negative 4 third. Kasi na-reciprocal na natin siya. Dt. So isulat ko yun dito. This is 5 t to the power of 2 third um, dt ay ko nakakalimutan yung dt plus 7 this is t negative 4 third now si apply na natin yung theorem ng kanina na this is 5 t 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2 over 3 plus 1 plus 7 um, t negative 4 third plus 1 Dito ka na magpa-plus C. 
So that will be 5t, 2 third plus 1, that's 5 third. Correct? 2 over 2. 4 third. Malik. Hindi siya 5 third. 2 third plus 1. Ay, no, no, 5 third. 5 third. Tapa 5 third. Kasi 3 over 3 pa lang. Over 5 third plus 7. Negative 4 third plus 1. Negative 4 negative 4 plus 3, negative 1 third over negative negative 1 third plus C. Then, meron ka ditong 3, so magiging 15 to T to the power of 5 third over 5. Uh, this will be minus 21 T to the power of negative 1 third plus C. 15 over 5, that is 3. T to the power of 5 thirds minus 21 over T to the power of 1 third. Kasi negative yung 1 third yan exponent, reciprocal natin plus C. Ito na yun, magiging final Hirapan. Okay lang, normal. <laughs> Nasa pang 8 na tayo, ilepe lang yung examples ko. Question? You can ask question? No question. Now, we'll answer the, the next kasi ito ay um, trigonometric untended penetration. So we have there the integral of 2 cotangent x minus 3 sine squared x over sine x dx. So when we are going to solve that, that will be equal to um, i-distribute lang natin yung sine x, that's 2 cotangent x over sine x uh, dx minus 3 sine squared x over sine x dx. Then distribute lang natin yung sine x sa baba. Distributive property of Division. The constant term there is 2 at check negative 3. So this is to the integral of cotangent x over sine x dx minus 3. This will be sine squared x over sine x dx. Um, makukuha ba tayong cotangent x na identity? Wala. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, ipapactor natin, kasi wala tayong cotangent x sine x. Eh. So, pwede natin gawin dito 2, um, ipactor ko siya as 1 over sine x multiplied by cotangent x dx. Kasi meron tayong 1 over sine x. Tama? Minus 3. Kaya kong isimplify ang sine squared x over sine x. Ang sagot niyan ay sine x dx. Sine squared divided by sine is sine. And then we have now, um, ang 1 over sine x ay ano yan? In idea, ano yung 1? 1 over sine x. The trigonometric identity. na pre-calculus lesson. Yan ay ano? <laughs> Sumasagot. Di ba yan ay cosecant x? Ang 1 over sin x. Di ba ang cosecant ay inverse ni sin? Kaya 1 over sin x nagiging cosecant x siya. And then cosecant x copy ko tangent x dx minus 3 sine x dx. Now, we can now apply the anti-differentiation. We have 2. Ang anti-differentiation ni cosecant x ay ano? It's negative cosecant x cosecant ko tangent is negative cosecant yan minus 3 Si sin x naman, ang kanyang derivative ay negative 
cosine x. Do not forget the plus c. So, ibig sabihin, ang final answer niyan ay negative 2 cosecant x plus 3 cosine x plus c. That's the anti-differentiation of the given. I chore. <laughs> ano yan? Cosine x i para saan to? Nico. I want it. Ano yan? But negative cosine ang sine x, ang derivative niya. Si cotangent saan banda? Itong part na to, Tama ba ko bon? Yung second solution. Second, ang tawag nito? Second part ba? Ah, sana punta ang potential. Ito, pinactor ko siya. Kapag isimplify mo kasi ang di ba kapag isimplify ko ang one o ang cotangent x over sin x, pinactor ko siya. Ginawa ko siya. Kasi wala tayong makukuha kay cotangent x ka kay sin x eh. Wala naman nag-exist na trigonometric function na meron po tangent x saka sin x. Ang meron lang tayo ay 1 over sin. So, ginawa ko 1 over sin x multiplied by cotangent x. Diba ito din naman yan? Cotangent x sin x. Para makuha ko to, makuha ko, magawa ko siyang cosecant x. Cotangent x. Ang cosecant ay ito yan. Pinactor lang natin. I get or hindi. Hindi na gets kung saan napunta ang cotangent. <laughs> Ito yung cotangent, di ba? Pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, di ba ang cotangent dito ay over 1. So 1 times cotangent, cotangent. Sine times 1, that's sine. So para lang ma-produce ko si 1 over sin x. Ito na pa. Ang pa simplify ko. Ma-explain ko na mas ma madali. Um, di ba yung cos sin uh, kung tangent x over sin x, the same lang yan kay 1 cotangent x over sin x. Na pwede kong isimplify ng 1 over sin x times cotangent x. Dito na punta si cotangent x. Isa ito yun. So pag minultiply ko to, 1 over sin x times cotangent x. Ito din yun. Cotangent x over sin x. Ito pa din. Nag-factor lang tayo kasi wala tayong makukuha kay cotangent x sin x. Ibigyan ko kayo ng Habaan natin ng konti, ano, 7 minutes for this number 10. Ano mas madali? Tangent squared x plus cotangent squared x plus 4 dx. Para may, ma, may makuha ka dyan kay tangent squared x, balikan mo yung Pythagorean identity. Di ba yung Pythagorean identity? Um, tangent squared x plus 1 ay katumbas ni second squared x. Si cotangent, meron din tayo dyan kay trigonometric identity. Um, 
ang trigonometric identity cotangent. 1 plus, kasi tangent siya, so cotangent din dapat to. x is equal to cosecant squared x. Siya kayo magsimula. From Cedric, second squared x plus cosecant squared plus 2. Hindi ka pa nag-antiderivative dyan. So ano antiderivative ni second squared x? Second squared, antiderivative ni Cedric, tapos antiderivative ni cosecant squared x. Balik kami yung lesson natin, Cedric. Ano yung derivative ngayon ni second squared? Ano ang derivative ni cos second squared? From Nico, tangent x, negative cotangent, uh, cotangent x plus 2, x squared. Saan galing squared? Walang squared. 
Kasi pag nilagay mo yung X doon sa 2, hindi mo na siya mag hindi na siya magpa-plus me ko. Nakalimutan na naman yung C. Plus C. From Carl Peter tangent X minus 2 tangent X. Uh, hindi mo na simplify Carl Peter yung negative 1 minus 1 plus 4. From Ariel, tangent X negative cotangent X plus 2 X plus C. That is correct, Ariel. Tangent X. Uh, Miko, hindi mo na simplify yung negative 1 minus 1 plus 4. Tangent X cotangent X plus 2 X plus C. That's correct. Born. Okay. Simplify natin. At least, nandun na yung solution natin, ano? Uh, we have tangent squared x plus cotangent x squared plus 1. Recalling the trigonometric identity, tangent squared x plus 1 is equivalent to second squared x. So when you are going to transpose this, that will give us second squared x minus 1 um, plus cotangent squared will give us cos second squared um, x minus 1 and then plus 4 dx. So we have now second squared x dx plus cos second squared x dx. There is minus 1 minus 1 plus 4 there. Um, so this will be second squared x dx plus cos second squared x dx. Now this one will be 2 dx. Okay, so the derivative there of second squared x will be uh, tangent x for the cos second anti-differentiation there is negative cotangent x and then when you have 2 there, that will be 2x and then do not forget the plus. At least, marami pa rin nakapuha, no? that's okay, that, that's good. Yung mga nakalimutan yung negative 1, negative 1 plus 4, um, malapit na rin sa katotohanan. Huwag na yung kakalimutan ng plus C kasi kahit tama ang sagot nyo, pag walang plus C yan, gusto rin kung mabigyan kayo ng credit, hindi talaga mapwede. Okay, let's have number 11. A question muna, 522. So dapat matapos ako ng 530. 527 time check. Go. We'll check at From Miko, 3 second x minus 5 cotangent x plus c. Okay. Ay, from Bon pala yun. Ah, pare-parehas. Ah, nag-iiba lang sa plus and minus. Miko, 3 second x plus 5 cotangent x plus c. From Bon, 3 second x minus 5 cotangent x. From here, minus din. From C, oh, happy. 
minus ha? minus is a plus maging tie breaker ba yung mga tahimik dito from mark louis 3 second x minus 5 to 100 x okay let's see one minute pa Okay, we'll check. The constant there is 3 and negative 5. So we have 3 second x uh, tangent x minus uh, dx. dx minus 5 and then cosecant squared x dx. This is 3. Ang second x tangent x, that is equivalent to second x. Minus 5. Ang cosecant squared, uh, cosecant, cosecant squared is equal to cotangent x plus 1. So trigonometric identity. So that will be um, cotangent x plus 1. Then we have 3 second x negative 5 wala na pala 1 so dito plus c na pala ito 5 cotangent x this is plus c 3 second x minus 5 cotangent x plus c 3 second x okay marami nakakuha ng tamang sagot now, this will be the activity number five. Ginawa ko siyang 15 items because I will no longer give the final exam. This is, or this will serve as your final exam because next week I'll be attending, supposed to be ang final exam kasi ay um, Monday and Tuesday next week. Kaya last week natin ngayon. Um, Umatid kasi ako ngayon ng seminar hanggang May 29. So, hindi ko kayo maaasika. So, para sa exam nyo, eh, eto ang gagawin yung exam. Activity number 5 slash final exam. Ang pakiusap ko ay huwag kakalimutan <laughs> ang C. Well, kahit plus C lang yan, talagang mamamalit. Sige, you can do the screenshot. 